Hi, this is Grant Imahara here at the Census Test Labs to check out the Highly Accelerated Life Testing Chamber, or HALT for short. So Tim, accelerated life testing, it sounds like this accelerates the lifespan of the meter? That's right. HOT allows us to simulate uh, different environmental conditions that the meter may be exposed to in the field. We're able to simulate different environmental test stresses they may see in a 20-year life. We just don't have 20 years to test the product. So what happens inside the chamber? Uh, well, we expose our meters to extreme temperatures, hot and cold. We have the ability to go from 200 degrees Celsius down to negative 100 degrees Celsius. We can also have the ability to add vibration to the test. So I understand the temperature extremes, but why the vibration? Uh, we're looking for any mechanical issues that the meter may be exposed to during its life in the field. So how long do you test for? Typically a test cycles two to three weeks, depending on what we see during the test. So if it survives three weeks of torture testing in the halt chamber, then what? We feel comfortable that the meter has exceeded the test specifications. Now, the old analog meters, they've been around for decades. Aren't they inherently hardier? That's correct. Analog meters, they're good, but the perception people have that analog meters don't fail, and that's simply not true. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Tim. I'm going to go check out the hurricane test cell. Hey, Dave. Hey, Grant. So what do you got going on here? This is our wind-driven rain chamber that we built to test for water intrusion. We wanted the Stratus meter to not only meet, but exceed every standard for water tightness. All right, so how's it work? Well, let you in on a key to our test here. Is that baby powder? That's the highly sensitive substance we use to check for water. So what do you do with it? Well, we take the meter apart, dust it with baby powder, then we put it back together and load it into the test. If there has been water intrusion, you'll see the entry point, uh, followed by a trail through the baby powder, which turns gray when it's wet. Right, simple but effective. So walk me through the test itself. There are a few different tests that we do since water intrusion is so important to the utility industry. There's a simple test we do with it in an approved pan. We also do it in a meter pan that maybe has a leak on the top or a loose lid. Now there's a third kind of out of the box extreme test we do where the meter is taken completely out of the pan and face it directly toward oncoming wind and rain. How fast are the winds? This machine is capable of producing near hurricane speed winds. <laughs> wow! And how long do you test it for? Most tests run for an hour, but there are some tests that exceed 12 hours long. Can you show me one? Yeah, let's check it out. So we've seen a lot of testing of the census stratus meters today, but why do all this testing? Don't they just meet a minimum standard and then move on, end of story? That is complete fiction. The type of testing that they do here yields valuable data into how these meters perform under stressful conditions that can be fed back into the design process and shared with standards organizations around the world, potentially evolving future standards.